Genji, what are you doing here? Something has gone very wrong, my lord. What did you do? Nothing. The Mongols have taken all our food, rice, millet, fish, anything they can lay hands on. We're starving. You say we. This isn't your farm. I have been thinking about what you said, and I'm trying to help the farmers here. Where are the Mongols camped? Who knows? They show up every few days and pick up the food and cart it away. I could ambush them. It's not that simple. They've taken hostages. If we don't produce the food, it's... <gasps> there must be a way to find them. There is. You won't like it. I will decide that for myself. Come, I'll show you. They make us bundle the food and put it on the beach. All of it from this farm? The farm, scavenging abandoned homes, fishing and hunting, just to fill the bellies of the enemy. What brought you here in the first place? Once the Mongols connected me to you, most places got too dangerous. I thought an out-of-the-way farm would be safer. Food and drink for the Mongols, but the sake barrel is empty. Your plan is to anger the Mongols more? Not exactly. The barrel is very roomy. It could hold a heavily armed heroic samurai. You know what would fit better? A flabby, flexible sake merchant. The Mongols will take the barrel to the heart of their camp. Who could do more good there? Me or you? I don't know why I keep letting you hide me inside things. Because it works. It smells like your breath in here, Kenji. Well, that barrel didn't empty itself. Get ready, my lord. Here they come. Boutique and Perkin Dutch. Yes, yes, all yours. Take, take. Master Morigov. No, no, no. Uh, that's Miko. Uh, Miko is my horse. Mine. Nadama Tat. Morbignik Borso. Ow! You can't do this. Miko, no! His plan actually worked. Oh, my God. 
cannot believe it. We are saved. Take this food back to your farm. Give Kenji the good news. Kenji? Why would I give him anything but a punch in the mouth? What do you mean? He's the idiot who got us into this mess. He tried to cut a deal with the Mongols. Oh, Lord Sakai. That was amazing. Kenji, you suck his swilling piece of monkey dung. I'll handle this. Explain yourself. I might have sold the Mongols food, but given them straw and wood chips instead. To make a profit? To save the farmer's food. You didn't think the Mongols would notice? Not so quickly. All of a sudden, it was punishment, hostages. Give us food or we kill you. I was wrong to encourage you to make yourself useful. What? No, no. No, you weren't wrong, Lord Takai. I can do good. I just need practice. Try not to practice when people's lives are at stake. Yes, my lord. Lord Sakai! A moment, please. It's important. Yes. What is it? Not out here, my lord. This way. My name is Yo. This is my shop. Are you trying to sell me something? Oh, no, my lord. Here should be fine. No one's listening. Tell me what this is about. My neighbor, Haruo. He's acting suspicious. He sneaks out of town at sunset. Gone for hours. Comes back at dawn. Last night I followed him. He went to a burnt-out house by the cemetery and met bandits there. Bandits? That can't be good. I'll find this house and learn what they're up to. Thank you, you Of course, my lord. Nigga, what
Sir Jimmy Nazimov said his neighbor Mac Bandit's here. It seems deserted. I'll have a look around. Hmm. Someone's meal, eaten recently. Bandages. Not much blood. Minor wounds. Lots of ashes. Campfire's been used many times. The merchant was right to be suspicious. Need a place to hide. Wait for the merchant's neighbor and his bandit friends to return. Any trouble getting out of Hazamo? No, but I saw Mongols on the roads. I think they're looking for us. We should hurry. What did you bring this time? The statue of Inari. Oh, that's valuable. I'm surprised the Mongols didn't take it. Let's bury it with the rest. Thieves. Need to see where they take things. Keep your eyes open for trouble. How are the others? Hiding. Mongols rode by the house a few times. But so far, everyone is safe. Uh, you hear that? Horses! Mongols! Hide! They caught poor Tamun out on the road. The patrols are getting worse. Must be that samurai. He's got Mongols chasing him all over the prefecture. I hope he kills the bastards. Almost there. The sooner we're off the road, the better. What happened to Tamon? The Mongols impaled him on top of an anthill. He screamed for an hour. Oh, that's horrible. Let's hurry and finish this. What are they doing? I hate burying Inari like this. Better in a grave than a Mongol ship. They don't sound like thieves. Hurry up! Something's not right. <sighs> yeah. Inari is safe. That's enough. Don't move. Damn! I knew we'd been followed. Wait. It's the samurai. I'm glad it's you, my lord. That's a strange reaction from a thief. We're not thieves. You drove the Mongols from Azamo Bay. But what if they come back to raid us? We're hiding the most important things from our shrine. Just in case. Sotaro! Kihei! Come quick! We'll go home. You shouldn't have left the others. The Mongols found the house. Our people are trapped. They will be killed. How many Mongols? I couldn't count them all. Which of you can fight? Me and Kihei. You're with me. You two get in the house and protect your people. With what? Everything you've got. Mongols! They're coming from all sides. Attack! Ready? Dosho! 
coming. We should have run. More coming. We should have run. They're not giving up. You're going to die. Bastards get in? No. You kept them away. Not us. Let me go. It was Lord Sakai. Who are these people? Travelers fleeing the Mongols. People who lost their homes. And you protected them. We tried. Please. You're not hiding those valuables so you could steal them later. No, my lord. We're not trying to get rich. After seeing what the Mongols have done, we only want to help. What did I do? <laughs> then help me lead these people to Azomo Bay. You'll all be safe there. Stop! I know bandits when I see them. You're not welcome here. They're with me. These people need shelter. Even the bandits. My lord, they can't be trusted. They fought to defend these people. They'll hope you hold this town. As you wish, my lord. Open the gate! Let everyone inside! I don't know how to thank you, Lord Sakai. Protect Azamo like you did those people. I promise I will. And make sure they know where to find what you buried when the Mongols are finally gone. You can count on it. Thank you for this chance to prove myself. What is it? I have to get to a camp in the woods, occupied by people who are seriously ill. They need a healer. The area is overrun with bandits and Mongols. Yes, I'll need protection. I can get you there. But this sickness concerns me. You're sure you can fight it? Sickness isn't something you fight. It's something you have to care for. If the people are as ill as you say, we should leave now. Stop the sickness before it spreads. Thank you, my lord. did you survive the battle at Komoda? It was thanks to a woman, Yuna. She rescued me from the beach, nursed me back to health. She sounds like a gifted healer. She's one of the bravest people I know. I wouldn't be here without her. My mother did the same for me. As a boy, I was always sick, but through her knowledge of herbs, she made me strong. She's the reason I'm a healer. Wait, I think I see something up ahead. Good eye. 
Stay back. Let me handle it. Where are you hiding? We don't have any. Fire! Please don't hurt us. Here. Come here and fight. Killing you will I thought they were going to kill us. You shouldn't be traveling here alone. We had to leave our farmstead, my lord. Everyone there is sick. What brought it on? Spirits. Our ancestors are punishing us. We gave the Mongols our food instead of fighting back. When they left, everyone grew ill. Now our home is cursed. There's an inn just down the road. You should be safe there. It's much too dangerous outside. Get indoors and stay there. Thank you. I only hope the spirits don't follow us. Hmm? You're quite the butcher with that sword. The bandits would have killed those people. You don't know that. You could have tried talking to them. It would not have helped. You know that. You ask for my protection. Forgive me. My life's work is to heal the body, not destroy it. Peter! Peter! Thank goodness you're here! Homeo, what is it? What's wrong? It's my son. I think he ate something poisonous. Take me to him. What about those suffering at the camp? We've already delayed. It will only take a moment. I'll help. Perhaps we can make this quick. Thank you, my lord. I knew. We have no food. I'll see if I can find what it was. Thank you, my lord. Nothing but boiled water. Rice baskets empty. Just a straw. Wild mushrooms, half eaten. This must be it. I should tell Hanaoka. Did you find anything? Half eaten mushrooms. You fool! You know better. He must have eaten them out of desperation. I can make an antidote. But I need river moss. Stay with him. I'll find the moss.
My lord, did you find the moss? Here it is. Homeo, listen carefully. Crush this moss, add it to a cup of water, and bring to a boil. Have him drink the mixture, and he should be fine by tomorrow morning. Those at the camp need us now. Yes, let's go. Thank you for saving my son. You know, that man's symptoms were the same as the couple from the farmstead. Aching, vomiting, labored breathing. Symptoms of poisoning? You think the farmstead was poisoned? I'm almost sure of it. In which case, I'll need tubers to treat them. The moss was fine for that man, but the tubers are stronger. They grow at a nearby pond. Let's be quick. Mongols. And right by the pond. Would you like to talk to them? Ask them politely to move? I'll leave this to your discretion, my lord. Faster, okay. Over here, my lord. You found the tubers? Yes. Thanks to you, I'm able to harvest them. It's just... watching you... I can't help but wonder if you enjoy the violence. I kill only to protect our people. I think about that every time I reach for my soul. Of course. I'm sorry, my lord. Let's go heal those who need it. The camp should be just ahead.
Hila, my wife, she stopped breathing. How long has she been sick? Ever since the Mongols came by our farmstead. What did she eat? We had no food. Just water from the well. I'm sorry. She's gone. <laughs> If only I'd gotten here sooner. You did your best. But maybe if I hadn't delayed, with that couple and that man. If we hadn't stopped, those people would be dead. You also wouldn't have figured out these people were poisoned. Perhaps. But I still don't know how. That man said his wife had nothing but water from the well. And we know people started getting sick after the Mongols left. They must have polluted the well. A contaminated water source would spread sickness like wildfire. But it's treatable? Yes, the tubers will see to it. Then help those you can. Thank you, my lord. You have saved many lives. Uh. Uh.